my tenant. There's a lady there. I'm hearing a promotion there. There's a lady there. You're working in a place called Bedford View there. I'm hearing there's a promotion coming to you. Sister, I, I see you in a place called Bedford View. Yeah, that's true. Huh? That's true. Sir. I'm hearing there's a promotion coming to you. You hear me? Yes. They've been promising you to promote you. Yes. Huh? Yes, they gave me a promotion in January, but they didn't give me money. They didn't give you money for the promotion? Yes. Uh, everything will be perfect after this. Oh, yes. In Jesus' mighty name. Jesus' name. Amen. I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus. Hey, I don't even know where to start. But I'll start by saying, Mudimu Palavaloi. Hi, indeed, God is great. Um, last year, sometime around August, <coughs> I started um, receiving a lot of oppression at work. Uh, to an extent that whenever it was Sundays and tomorrow I know that I have to go to work, Ish, my heart. It all started when uh, the MD of the company converted into a certain religion. So then um, only to find that that religion she converted to, um, they found favor. And as we were oppressed in a way that everything just went down for us. And I remember I was in the engineering department, I was a processor there. First of all, I got a promotion early in the year and I was not given the money for the promotion. <laughs> Secondly, I was the only Christian in my department. Everybody in the department were a certain religion. Things were very, very, very tough. I was working hard, but no recognition. And the thing that really, really hurt me was the fact that the non-Christian religion got all increase in August. And I was the only one with no increase. I got a promotion, no money for it. And when I go to HR and I ask them what's happening, because you all said after three months, you will give me my salary for, for the promotion you gave me. And so uh, the HR will always say to me, no, 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 um, it's not the right time, the company is not doing well, and I would be like surprised. And everybody in my department would like go one on one with the MD and they would come back with an envelope, they'll come back smiling, they'll be discussing it 
and I'm the only one who didn't go and see the MD of the company. And I said, I know God. In my heart, I said, I know God. This is your time for you to show who you are. It did worry me, but I didn't show. I continued and I said, I know the God that I serve. He's never let me down. The word of God in the book of Isaiah 61, he says, no more will you experience shame and dishonor. I held on to that word. Each and every day, I said, God, no matter what's happening, shame and dishonor is not my portion. So what actually happened is that um, there was a night where my daughter and myself, we both had the same dream whereby I was resigning by that company. And then I said, ah, there's a reason why God showed both of us. So I came to church, it was sometime in November last year. We were, we were celebrating uh, Mami's birthday. I remember I was sitting over there. And Prophet, says, uh, Prophet Simono said that um, there's a lady who's working in Bedford. I see a promotion. Prophet Simono, I went back to work. I was like, hey, God, even if you give me a promotion, not in this company. I cannot work like a slave and earn nothing. Close to nothing. I can't work so hard and each and every time I have to go and borrow money. I'm not a borrower. That's what your word says. I shall lend to many nations. And I started applying and I got many rejections. Like a day, I would send my CV maybe to three or four companies minimum. And I just kept on receiving rejections. I said, God, I know when I start receiving rejection, it means that something good is going to happen. I'm standing here to thank the Lord God Almighty. In January, the second week, I started receiving companies that were calling me for interviews and they wanted me to come and work for their company. So I went to the interviews and then there was a time where Prophet Simono declared and said, the job that you are going to get it's, uh, you're not going to go for an interview because I was confused. I didn't know which one to take from the three. And then Prophet So that was, uh, you know, like my answer because uh, I was confused. So one Saturday, um, they called me for an interview and said, can you be here Saturday half past nine? So I said, good shot. I said to my husband, let's go for the interview together. So he took me, we went there, and then while I was busy with the interview, he was busy interceding for me. 
batsa malena ra interview a re fitlana ke le interview bona ba ba nthapeleni when i came in he said they're going to give you this salary ha ke fitla ba re ba tlo fitla ba ba mpha moholo and by then we never even spoke about salaries and ebe sentse re thomelo bo le ka moholo so on monday they called me they said we've accepted you we are giving you this salary ka monday ba re ro amogetse ro fa moholo so i want to thank god almighty because i left the company as if it's a joke ke rata le ba modimo ka re ke tlogetse company la o ka re ke ara loka so i want to thank god almighty i've been promoted in another company with the salary the money that they were supposed to give me it was actually doubled amen. i thank god almighty amen let us clap our hands for jesus